Welcome to Lakeshore RV. I'll be walking you through your Montana. On your very front compartment here, you're gonna have your 50 amp cord as well as your spray hose. You're gonna have your 12 volt battery inside this box, battery disconnect here. Now you're gonna also find yourself another battery disconnect and we'll get to that here in a second. So coming right here, you're gonna find your light, little switch on the bottom. So on the driver's side, you're gonna find your leveling system. Leveling system is pretty self-explanatory. You're gonna have on button here, and then with this LED not lit, it means extend. With the LED lit, it means retract, and then you just choose what leg. Then auto level. Now I'm gonna reset that system here in a second. There is a little cheat sheet here. You're gonna have two 30 pound LP tanks, both full. Regulator is gonna be on the top. Big pasture area. You're gonna have your water hookup as well as your uh, cable hookup. You're gonna have exterior shower here. You're right below, you're gonna have for winterizing. So you use this winterizing port, you have to turn the valve on to on. Before you do that, make sure your water, water heater bypass is on. City connection. Now you just hook up your water hose here right to this valve here. It's gonna choose if you wanna use city or if you wanna fill the tank on the unit. Black tank flush here. Before putting a hose here, make sure your valves are open and you're connected to the ground to help flush your system out. Low point drains here, you're also going to have your battery disconnect. So you're going to have one up by the battery as well as one right here. You're going to have cable and satellite hookup. Solar panel hookup if you want to put an exterior solar panel that you can plug into right here. A little portable one. For water heater, you're going to have your furnace exhaust, you're going to have your gray pole inside here. You're going to have your connection right below, right in front of this slide. Coming to the rear of the unit here, you're also you're going to find your 50 amp hookup. Ladder on the very back. Underneath the slide on the passenger side, you're going to find your spare tire right, be, right past that jack. You have two awnings on your unit. One's gonna be on the slide, one's gonna be on the very front. Your main door, your steps are stored in the inside for uh, transporting. You're gonna have a 50 to 30 amp adapter, 30 to 15 amp adapter, as well as a sewer hose. You're gonna find yourself another 30 pound LP tank. You can go ahead and go inside. Right when you're coming in, you got breakers and fuses here. Right to the right, you're gonna have your vacuum. The vacuum bag is right beyond this door. You just stick your finger in the hole and pop this little door off and it has your vacuum hose inside to put your hose. That's gonna be underneath your bed, master bed. Um, that is the connection there. Coming to your main panel here is gonna be right when you walk in. You're gonna find your uh, water tank heaters as well as your fan control. The Tell the levels on your unit, you have the little circles here. These are buttons, push and hold. These are gonna show you your levels. You, uh, all below that, all these are all lights, the all lit up ones. Right to the right, you're gonna find your gas and electric for your water heater. To use your water pump, it's gonna be at the very top. Awning that on the slide. Awning uh, above the door here. This slide control controls the slide right to the left. One with the couch and the table. Now these two slides are the opposite. One's gonna control your kitchen, one, one's gonna control the master bedroom. Now to the very right, you're gonna find your max airflow fan control. That's right located above the stove. You're gonna find your, your furnace here, as well as your AC. The bottom bar controls what one, fan, AC, or furnace, and then up and down to control the temp. Right below, you're gonna find two light switches. One's gonna control the LED light above in a cabinet here. One's the, the other one's gonna control the drop lights there. Let's start from the master bedroom, work our way back. Master bedroom, right when you walk in, you find yourself another thermostat. The bottom bar controls the mode, up and down temp. Bottom is a switch for the main lights. Here in the, above the bed here, you're gonna find individual tap lights. Buttons are in the dead center. During operation of moving this slide, because the cabinets are included on this slide coming in and out, make sure this door is in the open position. 
and your cabinets are closed. Also, you want to make sure this cabinet right, this tall cabinet here is shut, as well as these before operating this slide. Um, right to the going towards the bathroom, you're able to access it in from from master bed, master bedroom, or inside from the hallway. Light switches off to the right here with the max airflow fan control system that's put in right above the toilet. You got a cabinet, G5 breaker right to the right. Um, in this case, a uh, fuse pops. Going into your living area, you're gonna have your dining uh, right above. These are individual lights. You'll have little buttons on them in the center. The ones above this couch here are controlled by a dimmer switch here on and off, lower brighten it. The lights above the pull out bed here, the switch is going to be right in the corner. The entertainment system, your TV, your fireplace are not going to work unless you're at least hooked to 30, 30 amp. Behind the glass here you're going to find your audio. You're going to have different zones, you'll have to push the zones here, you have three zones, one outside, one right here, and one in the master bedroom. Around your sink, you're going to find your keys. In your kitchen, you're going to get your stove, you're just going to turn the knob over to light and push and hold the igniter knob. Microwave would be the best indicator if you have short power. Right now, we're only running a 12 volt feed. Underneath the sink here, you're going to have light, light switch for underneath. This is going to complete our video. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for choosing Nature.